All right, welcome back on Sports Line. Steve Lehman with you tonight. Our guest here, the producers of the movie My Many Sons, which premiered here in Nashville last night on Lipscomb's campus, where the true story of the legendary coach Don Meyer actually took place. Last night it hit the silver screen. The producers are Casey Bond and Brad Wilson. Guys, thanks so much for coming in again. Thank and you. Casey, I, I want to start with your role in this because mm -hmm. you also act in this production and you play the role of Jerry Meyer, mm -hmm. coach's only son and a great basketball player in his own right. And they didn't always have the easiest of relationship between coach and player or father and son. What was the challenge and, and did you have, yeah, what was the challenge of playing that role? Well, you know, um, playing a real life person again, you want to you wanna honor that. And uh, I think the biggest challenge was just sort of finding that, that almost happy medium of, you know, this is a father-son relationship, but it's it definitely has its head budding, but at the same time, there's that shared love, and the story uh, kind of takes us through that relationship in terms of uh, Coach maybe being tough on his own son, but believing that he knows he's great at the same time, and I don't necessarily need to tell him that. Um, and it's just sort of that, you know, sometimes a, a kid does need to hear that uh, he's loved and, and he's a great player and you know you get around to that um, but it's sort of that that struggle and so to, to find that you, you know how do you play that with somebody else and with Judge obviously that was that was the main challenge. The ups and downs in the relationship well documented in the movie he wasn't home for Christmas one year at least until the last second didn't all, often show up to certain things he, he left Lipscomb from playing basketball uh, that certainly got mended later on in life. Did you have any conversations with Jerry Meyer about this role and maybe what he wanted to get across, or, or how did that impact the type of Jerry you played? Right. Yeah, I met with Jerry, and uh, we actually had uh, coffee over off of Belmont Avenue and uh, our boulevard. And, um, you know, I was able to talk to him and tell him basically what we wanted to accomplish with the film. and. And I wanted to mainly kind of see him and his mannerisms and how he talked and things like that. Um, maybe even more so than trying to figure out, you know, what was the real tension with your father. Because I felt like I kind of already had that story a little bit. I just sort of wanted to pick his brain and watch him be Jerry, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. try and be true to that as much as I could, to be honest. Yeah. As you go through the process of this, uh, Brad, I'd be interested uh, from your standpoint. Casey went to Lipscomb, so he obviously was very familiar with this story. Right. When he comes to you with the idea, other people come to you with an idea or a script, what, what attracted you to this project? Well, you know, he did come to me and he said, hey, it, it, let me tell you about this, this great coach. And... Uh, he told me the story, and I mean, I think I literally said, that's a no-brainer, you know, I want to be involved with this thing, because it just had everything, you know, it had everything that uh, you want in a, in a great story. They always say, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage, you know, but uh, we felt like if we could get this on the page, that uh, we could create something that would be very uplifting to the human spirit, and, uh, and, and which coach and his story is and and uh, something that could be very inspirational which always attracted me to things I like to do uplifting kind of inspirational stories and we found out we sort of had the same heart to do those things you know as I was introing a, a news piece on Don Meyer I said that when you look at it the, the number of wins 923 was an NCAA record at the time when he he, he stopped coaching all the people he influenced. He goes through a horrendous car accident that he survives and actually thrives afterwards, breaking the record. He's diagnosed with cancer as he's in the hospital coming back from that. It's a remarkable life story of overcoming and teaching and mentoring and great deal of success as well. I said it's a story that writes itself Right. Almost. Right. That's where you guys have to come in <laughs> and take the story and parse it down into the best parts mm -hmm. and actually put it to paper. How difficult of a challenge was that to take a guy who coached for almost four decades and went through so many different life challenges and moments and put it down into a movie script? 
It was very difficult. <laughs> uh, like I was saying before, to, to get all these different stories and, oh, that story is so good and, oh, this part of the story is so good, to have to condense that and pick and choose, uh, that was difficult. But, you know, kind of what I told people bef before the, the film started last night was I just wanted people to get one nugget out of this, whatever it was. Uh, you know, we knew we, the central message of this film was turning young boys into men, building character. Um, that's what Coach Meyer was about. And he had a lot of different ways of doing that, a lot of things he taught. So my hope would be that, you know, people who go see this movie uh, would get that one nugget, whatever it is, and take it with them uh, through the rest of their life. That's the point of this film. From the movie I watched last night, I think you guys did a very good job of that. You got the entire story down into about 90 minutes, <laughs> which is maybe the most impressive part of this to me. Brad, once you guys had it all written and you go to set and you start filming the whole thing, I imagine you had a lot more than 90 minutes. Yeah. How difficult was it to look at some of these scenes? I imagine some of these pretty good scenes and right. essentially leave them on the cutting room floor. It, it's heartbreaking. I, I, I don't know any other way to explain. It's just heartbreaking. And uh, but you, you know you have to do it. You have to try to be objective and also think about the movie and the pacing and all of that. And uh, even in the, the 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 close to the final script we got, there were so many like players and things like that that we had to unfortunately cut out because you get too many characters it's hard to follow the storyline for each character so it's uh, it, it was very difficult but very rewarding you know at the end of the day Casey I asked you earlier about playing the role of Jerry Meyer coach Meyer's son and for much of the movie he serves as kind of the narrator of the story essentially in, mm -hmm. in a first-person perspective what was the decision behind going about it that way um, it was actually a couple different factors. Um, just like Brad mentions a lot of characters in the film, you also don't want to have too many different people doing voiceovers. Mm -hmm. We knew we wanted to have voiceovers to help drive the story, and I think it definitely served its purpose. And so we just sort of chose Jerry as somebody to really drive it more than trying to go from this player to that player, confuse people. And I think it, it paid off in the end because it's really a father-son story at the same time, and so I think uh, um, having Jerry's character was just, it was a great aspect to come from and sort yeah. of a, a perspective of telling the story of his, his father and, and their mm -hmm. relationship and his, the relationship with other players at yeah. the same time. Especially in kind of a linear way because, you know, we obviously there were so many ways we could have gone. We talk about flashbacks and uh, just between us, but uh, just as a little uh, filmmaking 101 thing, you've got to be very careful with flashbacks in any movie because you could whiplash mm -hmm. an audience to sure. death. So we just felt like, as Casey said, this was the best way to do it and tell the story in kind of a chronological order. You mentioned the father-son relationship and the title of the movie is My Many Sons because mm -hmm. there were so many because all of his players essentially became right. his sons at some point. And, and one of the, you may have to help me with the name here, is it Wade Townsend? Wade Tomlinson. Tomlinson, mm -hmm. thank you. He's another person who has a central figure mm -hmm. in, this, in this story. Describe a little bit their relationship and how they went through things and what people will see of Don yeah. Meyer's relationship with one of his players who wasn't his son. Right. So, you know, he and Wade had an interesting relationship, too, because, um, you know, people see in the movie that there's definitely uh, some headbutting going on oh, yeah. there where Wade, even as a little camper, basically was saying, I, I don't know if I could ever play for this guy. And he ends up going to play for him. And uh, one of the things that happens, I mean, he, he gets so frustrated that he quits. And, and Wade actually told us this. He used to go back to his dorm room and, like, punch his pillow, pretending it was Coach, <laughs> Coach Meyer, just to get out frustration. That's in the movie. Yeah. yeah. And, and so uh, they had that. But then at the same time, you know, there's a great line in the film where Coach Meyer says, I may not be there for all the good stuff, but I'll be mm -hmm. there for the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And we see in the storyline of Wade where there's a tragedy that happens and Coach Meyer's there for him just like he promised. So he was tough and uh, you know that was a part of the process of Coach Meyer, but all the players knew that it was for good purpose at the end of the day because he really did love him even if he didn't say it all the time. Uh, he really cared. I never had the fortune of meeting Don Meyer in person, but I know a lot of coaches and players who obviously they're competing 
against him or played for him. And and the thing I always hear them talk about is he was a really hard guy to compete against or even play for because he demanded so much. But Mm -hmm. gosh, when you got done, you really respected who he was. Is that the sense you got from pretty much everybody you talked about in doing this? I think so, yeah. Absolutely. I, I mean, everybody. Yeah, I think. Camp, yeah, I mean, he coached thousands of kids through the camps. Mm-hmm. And almost everybody that I've talked to that went to his camp says, man, those, those were so tough. Those were long camps, and he was, he was really difficult, uh, you know, to be a, a camper with. But they all had such positive experiences from it too, because they were all taking notes. They t- like people keep those notebooks for the rest of their lives, yeah. and it's affected who they are as a person, even though it was really difficult. And that, that's you know, that's life. It, it's it ain't easy, but it teaches us a lot of really valuable yeah. lessons. He was always taking notes. I remember the first time mm-hmm. I met him. I mean, we were at at lunch, and he got napkins and take notes about everything. It was very interesting. Always have, interesting always have a pen and paper That's to right. take notes, right? That's right. That's one and of the, to this day, the Casey does. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. No, sir. And always pick up trash. Those are the three golden <laughs> rules of Golden Goods <laughs> right. Meyer, right? That's right. That's right. He was quite the man, that's for sure. We are talking about the movie My Many Sons. The producers of that movie, Casey Bond, Brad Wilson, are with us in studio tonight. If you got a question for those guys, Maybe a question about the movie. We can certainly get to that coming up during the last half hour of the program here. 737-7767 is the number. We want to tell you guys, by the way, if you're interested in watching this movie, the premiere last night at Lipscomb University here in Nashville, but it's already on out there in the world for you. If you want to go to iTunes, if you go to Amazon, you can find it there. The movie is My Many Sons. And today, just today... It hit the shelves in Walmart nationwide, so you can go pick up your copy, just like I've got here, of My Many Sons, the true inspirational story of legendary Lipscomb basketball coach Don Meyer. Got to take a break. We'll come back, talk much, much more about this film after this.